Hey guys, P. Large Cover Instructors. We've got another video. It is nighttime here. Um, hair was starting to lay before I left for work today, so we're gonna pull tub out and see what all we got. From what I could see before I left for work, um, there was a couple of slugs in there, and that was all that I could see at that point in time. So it's been about nine hours, so I'm sure she's gotten everything laid, and uh, I have not opened the tub since I've gotten home. So <clears throat> we'll open the tub together and see what all we got, and I'll pull her out and pull, put her up here on the cart. Um, so let's go. All right, guys. So it's like she's laid everything. I'm gonna go ahead and pull her off of here real quick. See if I can get her off here without getting bit. Yeah, she's done. Well. Not very promising this year with her. Um, checking her out really quickly. Yeah, she's looking pretty empty, but all slugs this year. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All slugs. Ten slugs this year. Disappointing. So clutch five is a bust. So we'll mark that all down. I'll lay all that over there. Double double check her again. Yes, I know, honey. Shh. Stop. Yeah, she's empty. So, it is what it is with her this year. We're going to try again with her again next year. And, uh, see what we're going to do. Um, I'll clean out her tub tomorrow. So, yeah, clutch number five was a bust this year. No good eggs out of her this year. So, it is what it is. It is a little disappointing. But uh, we'll try pairing her next year with, um, sorry baby girl, I'll put you up, with um, Apollo. And see if that uh, has any more favorable outcome than what we had this year. Ah, oh, there we go. Over the last couple of years. So I'm going to mark on her card. Um, let me find my pen first. And then I'll mark on her card. Which my pen is over here now. Hang on a second. Mark on her card, 10 slugs, laid on 6-6. Six, six. No hatches, number of eggs zero, number of slugs 10. Not even gonna worry about the weight. And I will weigh her when I get a chance to put the, or when I get a chance to clean her tub tomorrow. So yeah, disappointed. So clutch number five is a no-go. No eggs this year. So unless, you know, I don't think it's the male. I don't know what's going on with that. These are definitely all slugged out though. She goes through the trouble of doing this and then she doesn't, you know, Produce for us. I already knew there wasn't any veins in them. I just wanted to check them out. But I mean, yeah. All slugs. That, that's disappointing. Very disappointed. So we will uh, try again next year with her. And go from there. Uh, in case anyone's wondering, she is an Enchi Hepide female. And she was bred again this year to our uh, Banana Spider Hepide. Um, Thor's given us a couple of clutches, but they've been small. Um, he gave us two eggs with Pinky last year. She was a first time mom. Um, we got the clutch this year from Brunhilder with him. Um, we got one egg that survived. And we now have ten slugs from Hera this year. So... I don't know if it's him or what. So, 
Pinky's been paired this year to um, Apollo, our Coral Glow Pied. I'm going to point you guys up towards me. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see if that's different or what happens. So next year um, I'll pair him to a couple other females I think I, that we have here. I'll try that out and uh, pair um, our Coral Glow to like um, we'll try Hilder and we'll try um, um, Hera also with the, our Coral Glow. Maybe pick up another Het Pied female somewhere and try him out with that one too. So we'll just have to wait and see. So clutch five was a bust. Uh, waiting on clutch six, which will be Serenity's clutch. And um, maybe clutch seven, which will be Pinky. Um, Serenity is nesting very much. So hi, sweetie. So I am expecting her to go for us. And yes, my pied girl. Is starting to show signs of nesting also, even though she did eat last week. Um, just a couple days ago. So, we'll keep an eye on her. Uh, her last shed I have her marked down to go on the 29th. And um, Serenity's last shed I have her to go on the 25th of this month. And our next clutch cutting will be... Today is, what, the 6th? So our next clutch cutting will be probably next week sometime. Um, the, the 60 days will be up on the 20th. I will probably cut maybe the 16th, which is um, Friday of next week, if they haven't started pipping already. Um, so that'll be the day before our anniversary. So we'll have some new babies. Um, this egg up here isn't due until this is Boomhelder's clutch. It is due on, bear with me here. Uh, let's see. It is due 7-12. I have to do the math on that one. 7-12, this one will be ready to go. Uh, that will be the 60-day mark. <clears throat> Again, we may cut a couple days before that. But I'm going to get out of here. And uh, as always, guys, I'll see everybody in the next video. Um, you got to take the bad with the good. Things happen. Um... She's been a problem child with us since we got her. I need to figure out why she stopped eating so soon. I think that's the reason why she slugs out. Um, I don't think it's necessarily Thor, but um, yeah. So we'll go ahead and just keep on trying. And yeah, eh, I am disappointed. And no, I'm not going to eat these because I guess they're edible, but I'm not going to. So, yeah. Need to get rid of these and, and throw all these in the garbage now. So, so yeah, guys, no eggs tonight, and from her, no eggs from her this year, at all. Um, yeah. So we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, as always, guys, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification, all that good stuff, uh, and uh, check, go check out TikTok and everything. But this clutch card will go with this year's clutch cards, and when the season's over. I'll enter all these in my computer and add in what what everything was and what we got. I'm actually going to write on the back of this, no good eggs. No eggs. So, alright, clutch five is done. Unfortunately. Two more clutches and Aphrodite's probably going to go this later on this year. Um, probably before fall hits and uh if if time go if the time is correct if it's a six month period she should go in like september ish october september somewhere in there she should lay eggs for us so then we'll have eggs in november december january time so um, we'll see what we can get out of her she did good last year she gave us four good eggs two were visual which is the way the odds should have fell um, Dad was a visual, she's a head, so half the babies. Um, so yeah. Disappointing. That's what it is. But, alright guys, I'm going to get out of here. It's late, I'm tired. And uh, I'll see all you guys in the next video, alright? I'm actually going to jump over on Patreon here real quick and do a quick video there. 
Ciao.